Just about set to go here. Local Mayor Alan Livingston, the Waipa District, the home of champions, gets us on the journey. Craig Wilson, quick tap down into the English half. First touch of the ball from him. Malcolm Borick at the back and all met in mid-air there by J.P. Clark and it falls nicely for him. Attack coming from New Zealand in the early stages. It could be a goal shot here. Under his pony's neck, shoots for goal. It's gone wide out to the right-hand side. Flag behind, no goal. Lucky let off there for England. From their own back line, Luke Tomlinson looks at it. Now he drives a big ball under his pony's neck to the far side of the ground. James Byam just can't pick it up, turning onto it smartly. J.P. Clarkin, look at him go. He gets that pony going, legs are moving whilst he's dragging that ball forward. Beautiful stuff there, spoiling the party for him though. Mark Tomlinson knocks one in towards centre field. Who's going to be first there? Tommy Wilson. Tommy Wilson just checks his pony up, all stolen away from him by Malcolm Borick there. Drags it out to the near side of the field here. Craig Wilson right on the boards, those boards, they run the length of the ground on each sideline. Just to keep that ball in the field of play. Luke Tomlinson winning the battle there, opens his shoulders up, big drive, look at them run, what a game to watch this is. Up to the halfway they come, as James Byam trying to get control of the ball, just leaves it behind. Right on the halfway, going back for it, Craig Wilson back and oh, it's come off the stick of the English captain, Luke Tomlinson, the back door's open from New Zealand, racing towards goal, Luke Tomlinson shoots, has it got the legs, I don't think so, Craig Wilson with the backhand, beautiful clearing shot, he had to connect, didn't make the mistake, beautiful stuff from him, picked up by his brother, Tommy Wilson racing along, look at the pace, oh, and he's just popped it over the boards there, out of play, so they'll come back for a roll in, Midway in the New Zealand half. Umpire Watson rolls the ball in. Picked up there, James Byam. He slices one out to his number two, Mark Tomlinson. Coming towards the New Zealand goal mouth, Hopkinson. Coming at him, Sam Hopkinson takes him off the ball. Foils the attack there. Luke Tomlinson with a goal shot here. Oh, it's out to the right. No goal from his own back line. Sam Hopkinson. And they crank right into it. Look at those ponies run, doing up the speeds of 45 kilometers an hour, chasing this little white ball. And it's only eight centimeters in diameter of the ball. So picking up is Tommy Wilson. Big drive from him down towards the English goal mouth. Borick with a stop. No, he's missed it. It's gone underneath. Craig Wilson with the opportunity here. Can he? No, he can't. Left it sitting. Or oh, whistle. Well, as we go to the Lexus replay, Borick here. Look at this miss. He needed a longer stick. And it's set up nicely for Craig Wilson. Just takes his time, the pressure's on him here. Mark Tomlinson spools it, but crosses the line in doing so. So a penalty to New Zealand. The captain puts it through for New Zealand. There's the first goal, it's 1-0. New Zealand in front and chucker number one. They'll come back to halfway and they'll change ends as they do in the game of polo as each goal is scored. Keeps it even for both sides and a penalty straight from the line out. Awarded to New Zealand, Sam Hopkinson from the spot. Big drive, fires one through, a big hitter of the ball, Sam Hopkinson. Pops it right out in front of the English goal, but no Kiwis there. Turning on it is Mark Tomlinson. Dangerous play in front of his own goal mouth, but got away with it. Brings it up to his captain, Luke Tomlinson. Look at him just slow the game down and let his troops get in front of him. Now he fires a drive down, trying to pick up his number one, James Byam. Just can't get hold of it by him. Hopkinson's there, he's gone over the top of it. Boy, he's latched onto this one again. Luke Tomlinson nearly taken to the length of the ground. Under his pony's neck, fires one through. Just hasn't got the legs to reach his number one by him. J.P. Clarkin shuts his pony down, turns, brings it forward. Out of the danger zone momentarily. Right with him, Luke Tomlinson. As Craig Wilson tries to hit a big ball, but it just spews off the edge of his stick. Picked up by Malcolm Borick here. He's got the bump on Wilson to it. He's going goal. Well, this could be a good goal for England. Can he pull it off? Oh, beautifully executed. Malcolm Borick as he congratulates his pony there. Look at this in the Lexus replay. Did a lot of work there, that pony. Got the jump on Wilson. Came round. Borick had a lot of work to do here. Getting that pony going up to full speed. Just a quick tap of the ball and look at the... I have an eagle here, picks it up on the bounce, beautiful stuff, Malcolm Bark, and that's the end of chucker number one, wrapped up by Bark, scoring a good goal there, one apiece. Let's hear from some of these players about their preparation for this test match.
Our preparation this week's been as good as it could be. We've ridden a lot of horses, people have been very generous, giving us a chance to try all of their horses. Um, we've been together as a squad now for the whole week. We've played two games last week together. We've played a good practice midweek. I think it's very important that the speed of the polo that we're going to play today is, is going to be very fast. So if the horses are fitter, they recover better and they perform better. The preparation in, when you've got an away international is always difficult. You know, you're trying horses as many horses as you can, but it's been good. We, we had a good, we had two good matches last weekend in, in Cambridge against the central districts and northern districts. So that was a good sort of workout for us. 